Minecraft recently dropped a surprise 1.20 snapshot on February 14th, showcasing a brand new biome called the Cherry Blossom Grove. And let me tell you, adding in a brand new wood type and a beautiful pink leaves is so exciting. And because I'm super excited about this new feature in the 1.20 update, I just had to play around with some building designs using this brand new wood. In today's video, I'm designing a simple vineyard in the Cherry Grove biome. First off, can I just say how magical this biome looks? The particles floating down from the cherry blossom leaves and the scattered blossoms upon the forest floor makes it absolutely stunning. But back to my design inspiration for our little vineyard house. I wanted a porch for the owners of the vineyard to be able to come out onto and survey their property. So here I am starting off with some quartz pillars for the foundation blocks that will hold up our porch roof. For the front wall of the house, I am using some stripped cherry wood. This pink is such a perfect light pink color and I really do enjoy the contrast between the pink cherry wood and the white quartz pillars. For the floor of the deck, I decided to go a little bit darker but still wanted some pink elements. And so for this, I brought in the unstripped cherry wood. There is some very light pink pixels in the bark, which makes the block have almost a purple tinge. Such a great new wood to be able to build with. Using the cherry wood fence block, I made a bit of a border marking off the edge of the porch before laying down some cherry wood slabs for the stairs. While I love the contrast between the unstripped cherry wood and the cherry wood slabs, I do end up changing out the stairs here for quartz later on, as I was feeling this build was getting a little too pink. Using a little quartz bricks as a foundation around the porch and even the back of the house made this build feel a lot more put together. Now I don't know about you, but I haven't used crimson wood a lot in my builds. The pink color is nice, but it just never seems to work in many of my builds. But pairing it with the light pink of the cherry wood as I have done here makes the crimson wood become one of my favorite blocks, I think. I love how these two mesh together so well. I ended up using the stripped crimson wood as a border around the door frame, as well as the window I ended up putting into the build. For the roof, I first started with cherry wood slabs for the porch, which is why I end up changing the stairs to quartz because there was like just way too much pink. However, after I had seen the entire roof with the cherry wood slabs, I wanted a little more contrast and so added in a border of crimson wood slabs. For the window in the building, I used cherry wood trapdoors as the window covering, and I do really like the shape of the trapdoors. I know a few of us from the community would like some trapdoors that are solid like the spruce trapdoors, but I'm quite happy with the designs that these do have. The interior of the build is very simple, just a quartz floor, and I added in another stripped crimson wall to match the window and door one, before covering the underside of the roof with more cherry wood slabs. For decorations, very simple. I just added in some chiseled bookshelves as well as some regular bookshelves and a couple of lanterns and potted cherry tree saplings, which by the way, look super cute. Then I added in some cherry leaves and flowering azalea leaves into the roof before changing out the front stairs to the quartz. For our pathway, I went super simple and I literally just used some coarse dirt and spruce slabs to make the pathway. But I wanted a bit of a border, so I ended up adding in a few azalea leaves, flowering azalea leaves, and cherry blossom leaves along the sides of the path. Now on the one side of the path, after clearing out the trees, I added in cherry wood fences that were three high to start the process of making the vineyard. I wanted to offset these rows slightly, so each section of these cherry wood fences, I offset just by one block to give it a little bit more character. For the grapes themselves, I added sweet berries and then a few flowering azalea leaves over the top of the grape arbors and I think it turned out super cute. Now what build is complete without a gorgeous custom tree? So here I am laying down the cherry wood for the trunk and the branches. I went with only three branches, but it turned out really well. For the leaves of the cherry tree, of course, I added in the brand new cherry tree leaf blocks but I decided to mix in a little bit of flowering azalea as well to provide a bit of a contrasting color. And I really do think this turned out quite nicely. To finish off the build, I added in a small wine press vat with some barrels for wine storage. 
Now let me know down in those comments what you think of the brand new cherry grove biome and whether you think a vineyard is a good build to build in it. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye for now.